Well, obviously, I've seen it uh, come together over the last few days, and I've seen it in the wind tunnel. So um, it looks incredible to see it all come together, and it's it's obviously it looks quite big, but I think it looks mean. When you go to the factory and see how many people there are, it's so many people, and you see how hard every single individual is working, and then you see what they've been doing behind closed doors come together uh, as, as one package, as you've seen today. And then I go out and drive it, and it survives those laps. Um, none of them get to feel what I feel in the car, so I feel I'm very privileged in that re respect. But I'm massively proud of everyone for what they are able to achieve at the beginning, particularly at the beginning of every year. And um, this, from so far from what I've seen underneath this car, is the most sophisticated car and most detailed car that um, Mercedes have ever built. So um, I saw it yesterday, and I'm like, yeah, it looks right. Well, it was amazing to be a first time dri driving. A silver arrow. Um, been waiting for for this day a long long time now, and uh, everything was good. The car was running very smoothly, which is very good for the first shakedown. Uh, getting the first first laps with the car, no issues at all. Uh, engine felt good. You know, the car mechanically, aerodynamically felt uh, felt stable. So it's a positive start, and uh, everyone seemed very very happy about it today. First time working on track with the engineers. We. We had a lot of preparation before this uh, for many, many weeks, so it was nice to be in the garage with the, with the engineers and actually uh, on the job itself. So um, everything went very well, uh, learning loads both sides all the time. It always feels very special when you see the racing car doing the first lap, but now with the regulation change and the car looking completely different with the wider tyres, was just uh, very special. There is a big group of people involved in uh, um, putting the car together. Uh, we are about 1,500 in Brixworth and in Brackley that have um, concentrated all the efforts on bringing, on delivering one racing car that is doing the first lap today. This Silver Arrow is a special Silver Arrow because we've been very successful over the last three years, but no team has ever achieved to be uh, the benchmark over regulation change. And uh, we hope um, to. to to, to be as good as we have been in the last years, um, win races and hopefully win championships. And uh, it's a new era. It's a new era and it's new regulations and a brand new, a brand new silver era. So we are very excited. Yeah, ja, eine große Gruppe von Mitarbeitern, um, über 1500 in Brixworth und Brackley, um, hat all ihre Kraft in die Delivery dieses Autos gesteckt, das gerade seine erste Runde gedreht hat. Gerade wenn sich die Regeln ändern, ist es nicht so wie in jeder anderen Saison, dass die Punkte auf Null zurückgehen, sondern es gibt auch keine Referenzwerte. Das heißt, das letztjährige Auto ähm, ist kein Maßstab, wie es in diesem Jahr geht und ähm, das macht es ganz speziell dieses Jahr. Für uns alle Daimler-Mitarbeiter, 280.000 weltweit, ist dieser Silberpfeil ein ganz besonderer Silberpfeil. Wir haben, waren in den letzten Jahren die Benchmark, aber das heißt nicht, dass wir es in diesem Jahr wieder sind. Kein Team hat in der Vergangenheit geschafft, über eine Regeländerung ähm, so eine Performance aufrechtzuerhalten. Und wir sind super motiviert, dass uns das in diesem Jahr wieder gelingt. Und mit all der geballten Power von uns allen ähm, weltweit haben wir auf jeden Fall die besten Voraussetzungen.